Oh boy, look at this guy. Look at this guy, Doug. We got ourselves a new unit here. You guys have been asking to see this machine for a long time and we haven't had one. We haven't driven one. We know nothing about them until this very moment. What is it, we man? We learn now. This is a brand new R-Max limited edition. We went all out. We got the big dog. It's the four seater. It's got all the fancy stuff. It's got the dash. It's got the electronic shocks. We oh, went out. Boy. We got the best of the best R-Max to put through the paces. Tell you guys, is it good or not? She was an expensive unit, but I mean, if you're gonna get a feel for what the brand's got, you, you gotta, gotta get the get big one, yeah. The best one. But then, of course, you got to be able to compare it to something. And oh, you, yeah, good point. You can't really have one of these unless you have one of these. <laughs> what is this? Four seat Commander XTP. Again, four seater, best of the best. Big dog. Yeah, I mean. Bead locks. What? I don't even know what that paint is. Anyway, no it's creature comforts. It's so clean on the inside. It's sold. Look at that. Sold to us. To us. For, again, a lot of money. We're really getting stretched out here. Dang it. But, but this will be a great comparison, though. Yeah. How, how are you going to know? You can drive the machine around and say, yeah, you like it. But unless you can, you know, compare apples to apples, you know, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? But then I, I know what you're saying. Maybe that's not enough. That's right? a good point. That's like, a good point. Okay, it's cool. You got the Commander, you got the R Max, but if you're going to have both of these, how do you not have one of these? <laughs> <You got laughs> one of these. Oh my gosh. What are we looking at here? Another brand new machine. So this is the General XP Ultimate. Again, big dog. We've at this point gone completely broke. <laughs> Buying <laughs> the best of the best machines in this area to compare against each other perfect like, these are machines you guys ask about all the time like these are units that people love because they work in so many different scenarios so we say you know what we're going to jump in we're going to get the stuff we're going to pit them against each other we're going to drive them we're going to enjoy them we're going to see what we think it's got a screen that's also a button when you have a screen that's also a button that's how you know yeah it, it yeah. wasn't cheap yeah yeah it's gonna go gonna, at oh, some point yeah oh there it is, it is. beautiful i don't even know what to think about the yamaha i really don't but we're gonna find out. It's definitely short. Like, there's seats in the bed. Well, anyway, <laughs> we got a lot of riding to do. And then tomorrow, we got a, a big guy coming in. Doug, what's going on tomorrow? Tomorrow, our giveaway winner from the Tyrannosaurus Flex giveaway is gonna be here. Big, big moment. He's showing up, we brought him in, and he's gotta choose. <laughs> yeah, he's this is a big gotta one. gotta choose. Possibly the biggest choice that's ever been made, you know, within anything we've done here, certainly on these grounds. Is he gonna take the TRX with the trailer, with the brand new 4C X3 Max, or is he gonna take $100,000? So we're gonna put him on the spot. Make, wow. Make him pick. Wow. It's gonna this be is, wild. This is gonna be nuts. So we'll rip these things around, we'll see Mark, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. This is exciting. How many burritos can a General XP Ultimate hold? Matt. We found out today about, I don't know, 20, 30? <laughs> yeah. We haven't hit the limit yet, <laughs> but we have hit the limit of is the either my ownership of the TRX or this is Mark's a, ownership of 100 grand. Real exciting day, man. Like the winner of the Max Flex giveaway is here. Big moment. Ready to pick. I think he's ready to pick. I hope he's ready to pick. He's got to be ready to pick. Let's go see the money and go see the truck. We'll figure this out. <laughs> Could you imagine having to make this choice right now? <laughs> Doug, who do we got here, buddy? This is a big choice. We got our buddy Mark here. This is the winner of the Tyrannosaurus Flex giveaway, and uh, he's here today to make a big dog decision. This is a big moment, so huge putting, moment. We're putting the pressure right on. We got the stuff, we got the money, and we got the truck, the trailer, the X3. <laughs> so the moment is the moment is here. The moment's here. Are you ready? You're a supporter from day one, so I'm huge ready. thanks for that. Let me just before you before you make your decision, let me just show you what this looks like. So you can really Oh uh, oh oh <laughs> It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I don't know what he's gonna take. <laughs> Look behind you. Yeah, this is good. Again, this is my TRX 2022, a 2022 Formula trailer, and a 2022 Maverick X3. It's good stuff. Or 100 Gs. I don't know. Yeah. So with that said, what do you want? Take it away, Mark. I'm go with uh, money. Oh! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so there it is. There it is. And, and yeah, this is this is fake cash. We're just gonna wire him the money. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to be driving around with a hundred thousand dollars in cash. Come on. Bro. You can take this though as a symbol of this moment. We'll we'll pack it back up. And, yep. 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 But yeah, congrats right, on that, I'm man. Try not to pass it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations yeah, and just you, you know, thanks for supporting us. I know you've been there from the beginning. You saw that. That's really cool. Super happy that you won, and uh, it's been a great yeah. time. Dude, one more round of applause for Mark. Yeah. Thanks, man. Hundred yeah. G's. What a Christmas gift. Yeah, this is awesome. This is yeah. awesome. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll pack this up, and then uh, we're just gonna hang out the rest of the day. And do some cool stuff. Do some. What do you want to do today? Just hang out. See hang what out. Do for <laughs> All right, perfect. I love it. Let's I do it. it. We'll pack this Great back up in here, though. <laughs> I would love to be playing the Walk Away song by uh, the Nottas right now, but it's not walking away. <laughs> no, it's staying right here for now. Yeah. So, hey, if anybody wants a good deal on a TRX, an X3, and a trailer, we will cut you a good deal. I'm not driving that truck anymore, uh, despite flipping my smart car into a ditch recently. <laughs> Leo, you want to tell me what happened here? Hit this little drift. Sucker roll, dude. Yeah, he was really wanting to drive it after that one. But I'm not. I'm keeping it clean. It's uh, all freshly detailed from Marco. He didn't take it, but sucker's ready to go. Mike, if someone wants to buy this, how much is it? Ooh, the truck and the whole package? Just tell them 85 grand for the truck. Yeah, 85 grand for the truck, man. All day. 85 G's. Come on, someone come get it, please. 22, level 3, 20,000 miles. Under warranty, please. It's me, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time. Big comparison. We got the R Max, the Commander, and the General. Boom. All four seaters. This is our window to have these machines as clean as they'll ever be again. So while we'll do that, we'll do a good look over, you know, just check them out, see what's cool, see what's not, weigh them, dyno them, see what kind of power they got. And then we'll start sending the things. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of interesting little features we've already picked up on. So let's go through that stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm into that. First up though, we'll see how much these things weigh. Oh, zero, there we go. All right, okay, here we go. Zeroed out. Roll her up, boys. All right, so just, you know, as a note, like these have basically all the same amount of gas in them. They're all running like half or just a little over. So. Yeah, so this will be a good indication of wet weight. Be pretty close comparison. Good. Yep. We're good. What do you think? I'm gonna say, I don't know. I don't want to guess. Just give me the number. All right. So the advertised dry weight on this is 1,951 pounds. Okay. Wet weight. The actual wet weight, 2,000. It's moving 78 pounds. Wow. Okay. So, that's lighter than I thought. Not honestly. Bad. Not bad. It's a big four seater. That's yeah. That's a real big four seater. So 2078. All right. All well, right. see how the old uh, commander does. Can am stuff generally. They do a good job of things being keeping things light. So yeah, I'm sure it's going to be really light. Are. All right, boys, commander time. Mark, are you ready? I'm ready. Zero. Here we go. Yep. Yep. All right. This one's got bead locks, but no features on the inside. So should it be lighter? Yeah, you'd think it would be. Uh, advertised dry weight, 2,000 pounds. Okay. This is sitting at. 2067. Wow. wow. That's like that's exactly insane, the same. Super close. 20, 20 pounds? I don't yeah, know not how. even 10 pounds. I don't know how that's not like significantly lighter. Yeah, that's weird because we know Can Am stuff's lighter. I guarantee the cage is lighter and there's just, there's nothing here. There's no speakers. There's. <laughs> right. Wow. All right. Basically identical. All right. Next one. Are we ready? All right. Our max time, boys. Got the scales. I kind of felt like this guy. <laughs> Frank says, uh, feel the pants, dude. She's heavier. Matt, what does the data say? Okay, we'll let her settle. So, what's interesting is the R Max is the only one that advertises a wet weight. Okay. Yamaha says it weighs 2,059 pounds. Okay. Wet. It's actually 2,069 pounds. Oh, oh my God. They're within like 10 they're pounds. All basically Five. identical. Yeah. Whoa. And that's surprising for the R Max because. It's got a 90 inch wheelbase yeah. compared to 120 and 115 inches. <laughs> yeah, so seriously. The same weight. Pretty crazy. She's Density, beefy. dude. She's beefy. Beefy little unit. Density, yeah. So, oh, man, all right. Well, what's up next, Doug? Let's put them on the lift and just have a nice look underneath them. Yeah, I'm into that. All right, guys. So first up on the hoist in the new dyno setup is the General. So we're going to take a look underneath and see what it's all about under there. 
weld quality, build quality, see if we're missing any nuts and bolts, who knows. And then uh, we'll strap her down on the dyno, do a little run to break in the belt and the motor, and then uh, give her some juice and see what happens. Pretty cool, man. <laughs> hey, pretty cool. Time to get under this general and really figure it out. Heck yeah. So what do we got under here? You know, this is pretty uh, standard for what we're used to with Polaris stuff, I think. Skid plates front to back, yeah. really nice fasteners. Plastic, but pretty thick. This stuff has held up decently for us. Yeah. In the past, build quality looks pretty standard for what we're used to. Nice tubular arms up here. Normal Polaris stuff. Weld quality is looking pretty decent. Uh, like I said, tubular. These have always been really strong on Polaris stuff. We really don't have issues with stock control arms. Almost ever. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Overall, this looks uh, pretty good. Kind of got some high clearance stuff going on in the back. That's cool. Oh, yeah, I do like that. Yeah, so these are like a dual A arm in the rear as opposed to a trailing arm. So having some more clearance there is always good. And it's got the CV boot guards there. That's pretty neat. Big old Walker Evans on there, pretty beefy looking shots. Those things look pretty serious. Yeah, and the brakes on Polaris's have always been pretty good too. So these look like, I don't know, standard 1K brakes, but shouldn't be a problem. Well, strap her down to the dyno. Yeah, she'll make. I think that's what everybody really wants to see. What kind of power has this thing got? It's got 0.9 miles on it. So warm it up, send it. All right, boys, we're going through a quick warm up and break in process. We'll do this with all of them, but we're just going to get some heat in the belt, and the motor, and the clutches, and make a couple runs. All right, boys, time to see the power here. 72, 80s ish. Some five. Matt said 75. I'm going to say 82. All right. All right. I don't know, bud. All right. What do you think? What it feel like? Seat of the pants, dude. 75, dude. Wow. 75. All right, let's go. 68.87. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. That clutching could use some work, too, because it's making all that power here. Then as it goes down, you can hear that in the dyno, too. Yeah. It's kind of raw. And that's fairly typical of CVT stuff, you know, pretty normal, but all right. 68 to the wheels, 100 crank. See what the other one's got. That's all, all right. we can do. This is Matt's favorite right here, the Commander. I gotta say, looks wise, that thing is pretty tough. Tough looking, yeah. It is tough looking. I like the bead locks, military style. But yeah, we're gonna get into this thing and look at it, and then uh, run her. Seats at all too. Under the course, seats? Totally, no, they're don't, totally different seats. Oh yeah. They're like we're coming in next week. Yeah, no, they're super, super nice. Yeah. What's up with that skin? Part? The belly of the beast, what dude. The heck? It kind of, it looks like the belly of the beast. What's it going on here? Like High clearance. Someone's, uh, <laughs> in one someone's forks got into this one or something. <clears throat> what the heck? Oh yeah, it does look like a forklift mark. Yeah, or... but that's bolted in there. Don't think that's, that's a good like point. That, boys. Maybe there's something above this that's also bent. No matter. Anyway, it's good to go. High clearance. Plastic, decent looking, front to back, all the way covered. We like that. Non-removable though. Yeah, non-removable. Not like the X3. So instead of bolting in, they use uh, rivets. Ideally, there's nothing you have to take these off for. Right, right. Other than that, everything just stands up as being pretty That's nice again. Welds on these arms look nice. They're beefy, they're big. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like the upper arms being somewhat stamped and boxed as opposed to the bottom being tubular. A little bit different pretty cool. than the general, but still pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Nice heavy duty hitch back here. That sucker is beefy. Let me see this Very sucker. Very integrated. Oh, wow. Yeah, well that thing supported. is really in the frame there that's some thick metal too hmm i never really liked how the all these mounts were open in the back like that but simple bumper would take care of that yeah. everything else is pretty good how's the front suspension look normal pretty normal yeah typical stuff but humongous gusset on that upper arm let me see this dog dude oh wow yeah that's a huge <laughs> gusset it looks like it'll take some stuff yeah boxed up front that's pretty nice all right all right i'm pretty happy with that I kind of like these too for getting water and mud out. That's nice. Let's just see what kind of power she's got. I Let's do it. I can't wait any longer. Those are thick. All clear? Yep. All right, Mike. So we're going to go through, heat the motor up a little bit, heat the belt up, make a little speed pull, and come in for the power. What are you saying? I'm going to actually give this one a lot. I'm going to say 71. Okay. All right. All right. All right, boys. Time to make the official pull. On the Commander XTP, I'm saying it makes less horsepower than the Polaris. 65 is my guess. Okay, all right, all right, we'll see. 70. It's 
got, it's got to be close. They're both advertised at 100 between the general and this. So it's all coming down to clutching. All right, Dugo, how to feel? Seat of the pants. I mean, you know, uh, sound-wise, I didn't think it felt like quite as much, but I feel like maybe it got there a little quicker. So. All right. Yep. Let's see. There wow. 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 <laughs> Made 69. Dude, those are basically on top of each other. Yeah. Well, I know, and that's what I said. Mid-range here, I felt like it sounded different. Yeah, so the red one is is the general, and the blue one is the commander, but man, they are the same. What's interesting, it looks like the commander holds the power out a little bit longer, but, you know, with a, without a load on the dyno, it's hard to say, but man. Seems like there's maybe a little disagreement in the factory speedometers as well, because, I mean, I'm chopping it, like, right at the same spot interesting According to the factory speedometer so maybe there's a little discrepancy there but that doesn't actually make a difference to what the max power is because i mean that's all within the dyno so yep very close very close super duper close well it's time to get this rmax on the hoist look under there and then see if it can match the power dude i don't know i'm Yama super dog. curious Yama dog. he's a yama dog it makes okay. 108 at the motor it's so technically a little more at the crank you know per the brochure we'll see I'll be honest with you, this is our first time hearing an R-Max. Kind of just sounds like every other two-cylinder. I don't know. I'm so curious. Like, this one has really got me fired up because we have no experience with this machine. Yeah. This is first time, completely. So. Yeah, this should be good. Cool. It's the only one with reverse place. That's a good point. All right, boys, we are in the belly, under the belly of the beast. There's some different unique things going right off the hit. What's that? Metal, dude. Metal. Steel. Metal. Metal. Steel. You know, not super duper thick, but it's yeah. metal. Uh, will it get bent? We'll see. Probably a little bit, but... That's okay. That's yeah. part of the deal. Let's look out back first. These rear arms are like basically big old nasty box. Let me arms. see These here. things are real heavy looking. Okay, yeah. Those are actually really impressive. I like that a lot. This looks like they're plates with like welded in gussets front and back. It's interesting. Very cool. The shocks don't look as big as the other machines, but you know, they do have the IQS yeah, so we can, adjusters on them. That's cool. So it's not a live valve, but we can adjust comfort, sport, and firm in the cab. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice little feature. Super yeah. nice feature. I would say mm, brakes look pretty normal. Calipers are pretty normal. Axles all the same. Is that a steel knuckle on that? Yeah, it looks like it is. Sure, it looks like one. Yep. That's yep. interesting. Yep. That's good. Okay, that's tough. And meaty tires. Just yeah. aggressive tires. Humongous voids in the in the tread there. Okay. Tree kickers from the factory. Yeah, what's interesting about the tree kicker is that's actually integrated into the frame. Mm -hmm. So if you hit that real hard, you're essentially bending your frame. Yeah. A little no. bit of a downside there. Yeah. Nope. So is this still metal or is this plastic? That's a plastic that's one. That's plastic up front. Interesting. That's a removable one. Hmm. Servicing, I assume. Tie rods look big. Steel well, knuckles again. The ends look big, yeah, I should the say. The ball joints look bigger than what we typically see. That lower ball joint looks gigantic, yeah. as yeah. does the upper. The YXZs that's had big I'm ball joints the on them, and they always held up really well. So hmm. okay. that's going to be a tough setup. I thought this was pretty neat back here. I was showing Matt yesterday, if you're getting ready to do an oil change on it, your drain is actually very convenient. It's just right there. Oh, wow. OK, that ain't bad. If you're looking to do a belt change, you're absolutely cooked. Yeah, the owner will have to want to do one. Yeah. <laughs> But I did find out there is a 10 year belt warranty through Yamaha, so. Wow. Yeah. Crazy, but you're not gonna be able to change it on the trail. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Anything else interesting up front or is it time to see power numbers? Let's power. see it. Power. See it. power. All right, boys. The R-Max is on the dyno. We're gonna go through and heat the motor up, do a little test pull, and then go through and make our power pull. It says 100 days at the crank. for it, Dougal. It says 108 in the brochure. I just don't know what to think. I think it's 180 now. It's gonna, it's gonna beat all these guys. All right, we'll see. I hope so.
How'd it feel, seat of the pants, Dougal? Felt pretty good. She feels like she's got a little anger in her, you know? Like, I think the clutching does some stuff. I don't love around 50 miles an hour, but uh, real on that initial hit, she was like, yeah, I want to go. All right. So Well, we'll see. For sure. Oh. Ooh, turns out it oh. didn't want to go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, where's your 80 horsepower, dude? Big oh. tall tail, big hey. Yamaha guy. All right, let's see here. So <laughs> it looks like the initial run up was about the same, but it just made less all the way through the curve. Interesting. And then where it started to really shift out, where we heard it getting angry, that was just all RPM, no power. Very interesting. Hmm. Definitely, definitely felt that saw mm -hmm. it in the speed yeah. you know the way it was climbing so wow Did that Very that. yeah that's right you said something was angry yeah but it sounded like you wanted to keep going like from there Did yeah it was yeah it was on its way to make 200 right there well, I you think. just grab high gear there and yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know that's uh the, you can't argue with the data at the end of the day you don't race dinos we'll see how they actually do side by side but uh Pretty clear, she ain't putting the power down. Yeah, this is pretty wild though. We're all within what, three horsepower, three and a half horsepower, we're all yeah. within 10 pounds. It's pretty pretty competitive. <laughs> I think They're you just got to run them, just got to run them. I'm looking forward to that, get these things a little dirty. Let's do it. As we've done in the past, there's never a better time to look at these things when they're fresh right. and uh yeah they're never going to be this clean again so you might as well take this time to quickly go over the interior stuff yep absolutely there's some standout features with all of them okay you know the flares they did a nice job seats with these are beautiful ultimate seats they look really nice they got some extra stitching they got some extra features in them feels good nice covered center console yeah this is big too the inside of this has got some real depth to it i would say that's up to 10 phones at least 10 phones in there maybe 12 depending on the model um, of course you got the ride command dash which we've always loved that's a really nice feature to have there's a lot of good stuff yeah ride command is awesome the integration with other people and all that stuff is next to none really really nice so it does have factory audio it's got the rockford fosgate system in it sounds yep. good Just that's uh up nicely yeah the ones down there and then the two up above and i believe there's a spot for a subwoofer but we don't get that with the ultimate package yeah i guess you got to add that in afterwards but makes know, sense sounds sounds good enough right even the flake nice interior the i mean the paint is absolutely gorgeous <clears throat> i think this one takes the cake in terms of paint quality so yeah what are some other things that stand out on this um nice size bed in the back it's got a winch on the front of course which comes with a synthetic rope from the factory which is nice i like Something that the other two don't have that's pretty cool yeah i like the the belt adjusters too here so you can basically determine where your uh where it comes across your shoulder and frank's whispering something what do you want to say he's got some data this guy here. here's got some massive data that you guys are going to want to hear oh data let's hear it yeah shoot you guys want to hear it let's go uh front travel 14 inches rear travel 14 inches. Nice. Uh, wheelbase on this one is 115 inches. Big dog. Yep, overall length, 150 inches. Nice. So, and I don't know if we mentioned it yet, but this comes with front and rear cameras. Yeah, that's factory, yeah, that's so something too integrated. Box. How deep is it, dude? <laughs> oh, the height. A little over a foot. Uh, we're gonna go 12 and a half. A foot of height? Okay. That ain't too bad. Okay, I like those travel numbers. That was sport numbers of your. Now yeah. it's sport rec numbers. And they're basically all the same across the board. So all these machines. Have 14 inches of travel? 14 inches. The really? RMAX has a little more in the front, 14.2, and a little less in the rear at 13.3. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, boys, we're inside of the, I want to say Defender every time, but it's Commander. It's a Commander. XTP, the nice commander. It's got some upgraded stuff. The seats are really nice. There's some kind of gel feeling cushion in here. That's cool. I think they're a little wider than the X3 seats. Maybe. They look like something I would want in an X3. The X3 yeah. seat's pretty hard. Nice seats. The rest of the interior, uh, basically all function. Not a lot of doodads in here. Yeah, it's got the really poor, I, I don't like that cluster personally. I like the old style cluster. There's no radio. The storage is huge. Yeah. Like that, that big. box is huge. I mean, that's awesome. There's zero cup holders? Zero cup there holders. There is one on the floor. Oh, on the, okay, there's another one down here. Okay, yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. Nothing oh. for center console, but. Yeah, no center cup. And you then know, in the back. Wide seats in a narrow machine, so it's going to be comfortable to sit in, but you lose some storage space in the middle. Yeah, in the back, you got the standard stuff across the middle. No covered storage, though, unfortunately. It's utilitarian, but I think they set this thing up for a lot of accessories. It kind of sucks that out of the box, the best one doesn't come with more stuff. But. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer, but 
you know, functionally, I think it's going to be really good. There's plenty of leg room in the back seat. Like the back seat will fit an adult sized person, no problem, as yep. will the general. So that's good. Yep. And then uh, on to the bed. Frank, this one's got a little more depth to it. Ooh, bud. 31. Mm -hmm. Carry a spare tire back there. Bed. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, bed's a little shorter. Okay. So not quite as depth. Not depthy. It's not as depthy. Depthy. That's the Frankism of the day. <laughs> <laughs> depthy. Eleven and a half ish on the depthy. Okay, nice. and this one does have a tilt bed as well, just as the general does. I would say the handle is different. Oh, wow. okay, that's weird, right? Mm. But yeah, your standard stuff back there, giant muffler, as they all have. This one does have bead locks, which is really cool if you're doing some aggressive riding. Yep. Bead locks are always good. Bead locks are good. V twin in this sucker. That stands out. The Polaris inline twin. The Yamaha inline twin. Damn, the old V-twin. A little more rattly, but, you know, <laughs> Didn't motor, seem to make any more power, the but. motor's been around, though. It's a good, it's a good engine. All right, let's check out this RMX. All right, RMX. This is where things get a little wacky. Yeah, things are different here. Things are different here. But, you know, in kind of Yamaha fashion, like, pretty nicely fit together interior. Yeah. Uh, good fit and finish on stuff. Big old center console seats, you know, kind of the standard Yamaha shape seat but they're nice feels like quality materials it got some good padding you say big center console see how shallow that sucker is dude i feel like the console Cooper i didn't here. say the storage in the console <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I doesn't put, even fit one frank I hand put my notebook in there nice it. perfect <laughs> hold on a notebook and no no nope. no phone there <laughs> but it's got Dang a couple it. cup holders everything's wrapped really nicely the steering wheels all rubber coated feels really good the passenger grab handles very nice again real nice grips easily adjustable the knobs are nice and big yeah i've always liked that on the yamaha feel easy to grab with gloves um, the cutouts yeah. are really cool too for your, for your external switches for all your extra stuff this have like rubber covers on them you don't have to cut them out and risk cutting the wiring or cutting your hand you just pull them right out Come on, Frank. There easy, you go. Easy piece. Right out. Yeah, I think that's a cool feature, personally. <laughs> yep. It doesn't cost much to do, but no, it helps I a lot. Agree. That is nice. So this one does have audio from the factory. Again, you know, sounds pretty good. It's a good enough system. Yeah, this is an SSV unit, so it doesn't have anything integrated into the head unit. But the head unit isn't even really integrated. Matt, pull this dog out. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> this is very weird. So this is Yamaha's Adventure Pro system. It takes too long to boot up, but it's actually just a regular Android tablet. Yeah. That you could, in theory. I believe this is a Magellan unit, so it's got all the Magellan maps hooked up. Just take it with you if you want, which is pretty cool. That is a cool feature. I think it's cool. I, I, I don't know. I'm sort of I'm back and forth between this and Ride Command. I guess I don't know. We'll have to see how the quirks and features are when you actually use it. I think Ride Command has the edge, but. But this has we'll the removability. See. That's interesting. And it does have, you know, the functions you want. It gives you your gauges, all your data for, you know, the machine, which is nice. It seems to have good navigation built into it. So the main things I think it's going to do a pretty good job at. Plus, for whatever reason, you can take selfies, you know, while you're riding down the trail because <laughs> yeah. they've got a little cutout for the camera. We've actually done that. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I, it it did know. show up for a second. It's better than not having it. Usefulness, I, I don't know about that, but it's there if you want it. <laughs> the back seats are where things get a little bit interesting. So it does have the stadium style seating, which means the front is shorter than the back. Uh, room is okay. I would say this is the least roomy with uh, everything, but I can fit in there, which says a lot. Yeah, yep, it's doable for adults. It's an interesting way to do it because they stretch the wheelbase compared to the two seater a, a two -seater a tiny bit. But essentially, they just put the back seats in the bed. So yeah, you go to the four seat, you don't get the tilt bed anymore. Basically, that's where your rear seats are. You get a little bit of storage back here. The seats will fold up and slide forward to give you some more storage room. But in the four seat version of the Yamaha, you're not getting your typical dump box on the back. We still have a nice tailgate though. So we have that. And I guess if you, like Doug said, you take the seats out, you still have a pretty serious amount of room. But if you're trying to ride with four people and have that room, she ain't happening. Ain't happening. This is so many funny little things to make that work. You know, if you're taking the seats out to get some more storage, you got this little box, you put your seat belts in it. <laughs> it's very funny to me. Yeah. It's a funny way of doing things, but you know. I could have done that nicer. You get the idea. Though. You get the idea. So yeah, if you got two people on it. You know, you can make a little extra room. Put a cooler in the back. Some supplies. Does it come out or does it just stay it forward? It will come out. Okay, interesting. We had it wants locked, to come out. Should come out. Yeah, hmm. locked in place earlier. So. Well, anyway, we're still okay. working these details out. But you get the idea. 
that's not bad. That's about the only time that's ever going to work that nicely because it's about to be covered in some serious stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's some serious stuff all the time. We had some snow, we had some winter weather. Now we have uh, somewhat spring weather, so it's mucky and muddy. It's going to get mucky. I, I say we don't get too crazy with the test riding. Maybe just drag race and talk about it a little bit, but we'll go on some actual rides coming up soon and really see how these things uh, pan out on the trails. Yeah, we'll wait for the real stuff. But basically, when you have three machines like this around this group, like we just need to drag race these really badly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can go on another day a few moments later oh boys we are in our own land this time doing something we got a little drag race going the rmax the general xp 1000 and the commander xtp the big dogs of the sport rec world this, these are the units man we saw the power on the dyno realistically they're all very close weights all very close got some differences in tires how's it gonna stack up i don't know frank's running out here right now maybe we'll let him do the flag man He's running, dude. He's probably out of breath. He's, yeah, unfortunate. I thought, I think he thought we were racing on the other side of the field, so. All right, boys, here we go. Armax in the left. Commander in the middle. Def nope. Dang it. General on the right. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. I'm excited, though. Wow. <laughs> bit slow that Armax is marching them on top oh boy gonna do a little roller wow it's so close looks like the general might have edged them out a little bit there Mike Reed is sliding Wow, interesting, interesting, interesting. I'll have to see what these boys have to say. How do you feel about that, man? Honestly, good races. These machines are dang close. It yeah. kind of comes down to, you know, a hole shot. Who gets, the, who gets the hit? There was maybe a little movement going down track, but... I feel like the tires on this being a little more aggressive really helped it out of the hole. I think that's what happened there. It got a good launch, and then we were pretty close down track. Yeah, how was it in the general? I feel like from a roll, you had the advantage. Yeah, I definitely, I would say, jumped a little bit on that before his arm came down, channeling my inner Mike Reed, but yeah, <laughs> oh, I held that. everyone off. At the end of the day, it counts. That's a W, dude. How was it in the commander? I mean, I'm going to be honest right now. These tires felt like they did absolutely terrible. Really? Like, felt like it spun, didn't want to hook well. Roll was way better. I mean, you guys killed me off the first race. Yeah, I feel like maybe. It just didn't move. It felt like. I mean, look at the difference in tread between the Armax and and the, and the Commander. You got to pick a tire out of the factory, yeah. right? Maybe and you I want mean, something a little harder, more desert pack. This is what these tires are. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat on it terribly. It's a little muddy out here, so I mean, who knows what dry surface would do? But I mean, yeah. As far yeah. as being, it runs great. I mean, it's an all, overall normal can am. You know, runs awesome, but. The tire is just uh, not really impressed with. All right. Well, hey. Honest opinion. On this surface, it ain't the best. We have a lot more riding to do. Doug, give them a little preview of what we're doing with these dogs. Oh, we're going all over the place. Yes. We're just, we're just going to rip them. You know we're going to race them on the track. You know we're going to jump them. And, uh, you know, we've done some multi-day adventures in the past. And I think this is a great lineup of machines to go on a nice little multi-day oh, yeah. adventure. So uh, we got enough seating for everyone. Coming. Yeah. And then uh, these are all set up to have factory windshields, so you darn well know we're getting those things ASAP. Yeah, I mean, we're just getting into the depth of winter here, so we're going to outfit these things for some cold weather and just do some cold weather ripping. See how they hold up. Yeah. Just go out and have a classic good time. I'm honestly really looking forward to it. These machines are matched closely enough. It's going to be fun to compare them with each other. And, uh, yeah, they're just comfy rigs to rip around in. So. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this. It's a little different from our normal lineup of machines, right? But that's kind of, you know, why we got these things. Because you've asked for this type of machine to be on the channel more a bunch. So here we go. We got some. We're going to rip them, see how they do. Have some fun. Yeah, this is it. So, yeah, huge thanks to Mark again for buying the merch. Congrats on the 100 Gs, dude. Thank you. I'll, uh, I've already, you know, sent the wire over, but I'll send a little screenshot of that just so you guys can see. Right, right. He's not a paid actor or anything. That's yeah. a real guy. He just won $100,000. It's pretty cool. 
So yeah, and uh, obviously, thank you guys, as always. Like, everything that you've done forever has allowed us to get to this point, and we're just going to go bigger and better. So if you were in there supporting last merch drop, thank you guys so much that it's allowing us to do this, get these new machines, do all this cool stuff. And if you're doing all the normal stuff that you've always been doing to support us, like watching the videos and subscribing and donating on Patreon, buying the parts, buying through the Rocky Mountain link, just thank you guys so much. Like, that is what keeps this deal going and uh we're really looking forward to this year ahead it's gonna yeah. be awesome heck yeah all right see you guys bye bye Frank. bye 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 bye